The village prostitute who could not satisfy her husband. A tale of redemption and transformation. In the heart of the ancient and verdant kingdom of Nyam, nestled between rolling hills and sparkling rivers, lay the village of Akua. Akua was known throughout Nyam for its bustling markets, vibrant festivals, and the sacred baobab tree at its center, under which the elders gathered to share wisdom and stories. Yet, despite its idyllic appearance, the village harbored secrets and struggles that few outsiders knew. One of the most whispered about figures in Akua was a woman named Abina. Once the village's most sought-after beauty, Abina had become known as the village prostitute. Her past was marked by a series of misfortunes and heartbreaks that led her down a path of despair. Despite her beauty and charm, Abina found herself unable to form meaningful connections, and she turned to a life that left her both desired and scorned by the villagers. In a twist of fate, Abina married Kofi, a man known for his wisdom and compassion. Kofi saw beyond Abina's reputation and believed in her potential for change. He was patient and kind, treating her with a respect she had seldom known. However, Despite their deep affection for one another, Abina struggled to satisfy her husband in a way that transcended physical intimacy. The love between them was genuine, but a deeper connection eluded them, causing a strain on their relationship. Desperate to change her fate and find true happiness with Kofi, Abina sought the counsel of Nana Efua, the village elder and wise woman who was said to possess knowledge of ancient and powerful magic. Nana Efua lived at the edge of the village, in a small hut surrounded by a garden of medicinal herbs and enchanted plants. Please, Nana Efua, Abina pleaded, help me find a way to truly connect with my husband and prove that I am more than the woman the village believes me to be. Nana Efua gazed into Abina's eyes, seeing the pain and determination within her. Child, she said softly, the path to redemption and true connection is fraught with challenges. It requires great courage and self-discovery. Are you prepared to face the trials that lie ahead? Abina nodded resolutely. I am ready, Nana Efua. I will do whatever it takes. With a knowing smile, Nana Efua handed Abina a small, intricately carved wooden box. Inside this box, she explained, are three magical seeds. Each seed represents a trial you must overcome. Plant each seed at the base of the sacred baobab tree and wait for them to bloom. The journey they lead you on will reveal the path to your heart's true desire. Abina thanked Nana Efua and hurried to the sacred baobab tree. She planted the first seed and waited. As the moon rose high in the sky, the seed began to sprout, growing into a magnificent flower with petals that shimmered like stardust. When Abina touched the flower, she was transported to a mystical realm, where she faced her first trial. In this realm, she encountered a fierce lioness who guarded a hidden well of wisdom. To pass this trial, Abina had to confront her deepest fears and insecurities. The lioness, sensing Abina's inner turmoil, roared, why do you seek what you already possess within? Abina realized that to satisfy her husband and herself, she needed to confront her past and accept herself fully. She bravely approached the lioness, speaking her truth and acknowledging her mistakes. The lioness, impressed by Abina's courage, allowed her to drink from the well, filling her with newfound strength and self-awareness. Returning to the village, Abina felt a change within her. She planted the second seed, and another magical flower bloomed. This time, she was transported to a grand, ethereal forest, where she met an old tortoise who held the key to the heart's deepest desires. The tortoise challenged Abina to a riddle, testing her patience and wisdom. To find what you seek, you must look within, the tortoise said. What is the one thing that can grow without being seen, yet be felt by all? Abina pondered the riddle, realizing that the answer was love. Love could grow in the darkest of places, unseen but deeply felt. The tortoise, pleased with her answer, gave her the key to her heart's desires. When Abina returned to Akua, she felt a deeper connection to her husband, but the final trial remained. She planted the third seed, and as the flower bloomed, she was taken to the peak of a majestic mountain, where a wise eagle awaited her. The eagle told her, to truly connect with your husband, you must learn to see the world through his eyes. Understand his struggles, dreams, and desires as if they were your own. Abina spent days on the mountain, 
meditating and reflecting on her relationship with coffee. She learned to empathize with his experiences, seeing the world from his perspective. This newfound understanding deepened her love and connection with him. Returning to Akua for the final time, Abina felt transformed. She approached Kofi with an open heart, sharing her journey and the lessons she had learned. Kofi, moved by her honesty and growth, embraced her, feeling the strength of their bond. The villagers, witnessing Abina's transformation, began to see her in a new light. Her reputation as the village prostitute faded, replaced by the story of a woman who overcame great challenges to find redemption and true love. Abina and Kofi's relationship flourished, built on a foundation of trust, empathy, and deep understanding. Their love story became a legend in Akua, a tale of redemption, transformation, and the power of an unwavering heart. And so, the village prostitute who could not satisfy her husband became a symbol of hope and resilience, teaching all who heard her story that it is never too late to change, to grow, and to find true happiness.